Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Let's Play Mega Man Maverick Hunter X. In the last episode, we killed a Kowanger and a Mandrill. One of those things I know, the other one has boomerangs. In this episode, we're gonna go take down Sting Camellia, you. What's his name again? Sting Camellia. Damn right. The yes, I am. Alright, Sting Chameleon. He is a chameleon who can sting. Or is he a hamster who can't? Only time will tell. Only time will tell. You lumberjack man. You know what? You know what? Die. Die to death. You too. Die to death. How's your face? Gone? I love you, Storm Tornado. Really, I do. In this level is X's final upgrade, should you choose to accept it. And to get it, you gotta fight this guy. Let's call him Floyd. Floyd here is a Joe. I'm not sure what kind of Joe he is, but he is a Joe. We are better than Floyd because Floyd is a flip. Take that, Floyd. Whoa, Plebeians. Floyd, please. Stop being a pleb. Huh. Oh. Take that, Floyd. You're my card on the semester. Alright, right now we cannot leave unless we get the upgrade. Well, I don't think so anyway. The arm parts await you here. Enter the castle and equip them to your arm, and your charge shot becomes even more powerful. It is a very dangerous power to possess, but I trust that you will use it for good. Yep, I was right. You can't leave without getting the arm parts. Okay, then. We now have the arm parts. We are now a fully realized Mega Man X. Over here. Not only can we do that, but we can also charge up our special weapons. You may recognize that as what uh, Flame Mammoth did to us. Only without the fire train. Yeah, the Storm Tornado is actually pretty nice. It's how the weapon works in Mega Man Extreme! Now, Electric Spark is a, it's a screen nuke. I love it. Here is Boomerang Kawanger's weapon. Nifty, in it? It's fun. And lastly, Shotgun Eyes. It creates a platform that we can push and ride upon. Now you may be wondering to yourself, why is he showing us all of these right now? Shouldn't he just be showing them through normal exploration and when we would normally use them? Well, yes. Except for the fact that I'm not going to keep this. That's right, I'm just going to leave without it and come back and do fun things. Now that we are armed partsless, let us continue our adventure. Down here is not a bottomless pit, but instead is a secret area. Ooh, spooky. This secret area is actually house to a heart tank that we can't get yet because we need to defeat a certain boss. That boss is going to be Launch Octopus, and we're going to beat him at the end of the video. But, back to this stage. Oh, right! The uh, Head Crush can actually be used in this stage to save you from bots that aren't actually, you know, enemies. It's fun. Nifty. And it's Storm Tornado. So, yeah, that's a thing. Oh, yeah, these things are like super weak to Electric Spark because they're trees and they go up trees. Electric Spark! Electric Spark! 
They also drop obscene amounts of health, apparently. And plus, I haven't been using electric spark since I got it. Sniper with that shotgun ice, though. Okay, in here, you might just think, oh, it's nothing. It's a damaged thing. Break it. And you get a life. It's nice. Oh, look! Right arm! Don't mind if I do. Right armor will absorb any damage that you would have taken. So all of this stuff is just going to be bypassed because we can tank through it. And now, all we have to do is kill a chameleon. A sting chameleon. Why have you all fallen in with Sigma? <laughs> well, some of us can't help it. Maybe there are hostages involved, and there's nothing we can do. Don't you know that what you're doing is considered maverick? Well, don't you? Maverick maverick. I don't care as long as I make my mark. I'm ready! Fun fact, there are not hostages involved. They're just doing this because they think Sigma's right, that they are the future of the world. And to a degree, they're right. Reploids are the future. But it's not their time. It's not their time. Someday they will become one in 20XXX. Someday. But right now, it's time for Mega Man. All you have to do is play him calm and cool. Then you should be fine. With an open eye and dash boots, you should be more than capable of taking out the stinking enemy. That part is actually very forgiving in comparison to the Super Nintendo version. That part is just like ridiculously unforgiving in Super Nintendo version. Oh, I'm getting very lucky with Nyan Nyan. Yeah, yeah. However, he jumps at me, I don't really have a plan for that. He was especially resistant to my buster, wasn't he? He just he just seemed not very receptive that he was being shot several times in the face. Mission accomplished. Love that Power get. We got Chameleon Sting. Chameleon Sting. This weapon can be angled, and when charged up, grants temporary vulnerability. This weapon is required to beat the game. Unless you're awesome. Anyway, to launch Octopus. Launch Octopus! Beginning mission! Alright, Long Dr. Puss is our water level of the game. I know, I know, but hey, it was the Super Nintendo water level. It made it fresh and original. And also, the Super Nintendo is apparently so beloved by people that it has all their favorite games. Their favorite Zelda game, their favorite Metroid game, their favorite Mega Man game, their favorite Mario game. It was just a system of favorites. Yeah. You know what it didn't have? My favorite Sonic game. The GameCube has that. Oh crap! Thank God for invincibility. This guy. 
and just falls apart from a storm tornado. Look at him. He died to death. Because I hit him a few times with a wimpy little storm tornado. You think guys underwater aren't used to dealing with wind attacks? That's bull crap right there. Yes, take that. And one of these. Oh wait, hold on, don't. No! Here I come. I died at a checkpoint. Oh well, I don't have to edit. Also, fire wave is useless under here because it just, you know, doesn't work. But playing flat out does not work. I'm gonna finish with not. I was gonna finish this game with nine lives. I just knew I was. However, you now I'm back on track for that. Those are just crude sprites down there. Those spikes. They are crude sprites. Crude as hell. All right, now. Our secret objective for this one is to destroy a battleship. It's a secret objective because it's not really told. Oh god! I'm gonna get dropped over a spike pit. I say, I say, what did I say? Over a pit of spikes. This guy. A bag of dicks you must be eating right now. Use the green pod in the background as reference to where your safe zone is. If you can land on the green pod, then you can land in this little safe zone. Alright, this thing right here, just wait, it'll cause a tornado that you can jump up. Get up here and you get... Oh, it's nice. You needed it. You looked unhealthy. And since I don't trust myself with spikes right now... Hmm. Something is trying to get in there bad. wonder why. It's also one of the better farming areas in the game. If you ever want energy, you just come here and shoot the uh, little green guys with your fully charged buster and you're done. You're gonna get full on energy in no time. Alright, here is an optional boss. As with anything, that can take multiple hits. Storm tornado. It's to death. Now, in Mega Man Extreme 2, I believe, this guy drops a lot of souls. However, in here, he just drops no health. Well, he would have dropped health if he was a team player, but he's not a team player. Instead, he just guards his health rate. Now, you see these pillars in the background? There's one here, one here, and one here. When you're falling and normal fighting this guy normally with your X Buster, you can shoot him in the back of the head and that's usually how you kill him. And when you're falling, find yourself up with these pillars and you'll be safe. It's a nifty trick that everyone shows everyone else just so they know. Can I only get one? Do I only get one upgrade in this game? I don't know. I have to get two pillars. Uh, hi, guy. I just killed you. Or I killed your replicate. Take that, bro. Storm tornado, bro. Where are you? There you are, guy. How you doing? Do you smell the back of your face? I do. It smells bad. Oh, right. His, because his head was underground, the rest of him just blew up. It's fun. Alright, are you going to want to get Boomerang Wanger's weapon, weapon ready for this? 
because it's going to be fun. Launch Octopus. Launch Octopus! How could you do something like this? I am an artist at UCX, an artist of underwater combat. But no one has recognized that fact. Not until now. But Sigma recognizes that? That's right. And now I'm fighting to create an entire world that does too. This is a very important battle for me. I'll show you how an artiste fights. Here it comes! I too will show you how an artiste fights. An artiste and boomerang cutter. Boomerang cutter! Hope you enjoyed those tentacles. Boomerang cutter! I'm sorry, we cut off the tentacles. The boomerang cutter is not his weakness, it just cuts off his tentacles, we can't do that. Hurricane attack now. All he can do is jump around and shoot missiles. Which is actually worse, because I prefer it when we, when we spam the other thing. Thanks to PSP slowdown, you can just dash under it. And it makes the fight just that much easier. Wow, two more Mavericks down? We're just on a roll. Next time on Let's Play Mega Man X, I guess we're going to be going after one Armored Amadio, and then going for the upgrade run. Now we can be maxed out and going to head for Sigmas. Coming torpedo! It's really a missile, but don't tell him that. You don't hear those bells. Those because those bells are nothing. Blah da 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 da